Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is EJ Marino and today we have a brand new review that I am so excited to dive into. I have somehow never seen anything from Hamilton. Now that it's on Disney Plus, I have a review for you. Somehow, someway, I have avoided all of the Hamilton hysteria. It was pretty crazy when it first came out. Hell, it's 2020 and it's still a pretty big deal. So much so that Disney Plus paid like $75 million just to have the rights to it. Well, technically Disney bought the rights to it, but they threw it on Disney Plus because of everything that's happening in the world right now. So I will say I went into this pretty curious. I'm not the biggest fan of Lin-Manuel Miranda's work. I have nothing against him personally, but his style of musicals are not usually my type of thing. That whole like Andrew Lloyd Webber sing, talk, rap thing, it, it sometimes doesn't really connect with me. So how was I going to feel about Hamilton? Well, to spoil my feelings towards the end, I very much enjoyed what this had to offer. There is still some complaints I had, but overall, this was quite an experience. It has some amazing songs, some well-acted performances, and just an overall message and story that I think is very relevant to today. Actually, I will say, in general, I do think this was a better move to release it now than the planned 2021 release. Something about the riots that are happening, something about just the overall cultural moment we are having in America. Hell, over the world, I think Hamilton is such a perfect piece to really encapsulate all of our feelings. Hamilton is a hit Broadway musical that follows the story of Alexander Hamilton, but told through a very different lens. There is a lot of black and brown people who are telling the story, getting a chance to say it, and I will say, during the little bit of an intro that Lin-Manuel Miranda and the director gave, they kind of explained that. Something about seeing these, these faces, these cultures, these people getting to talk about this adds an extra layer. I'm Cuban by descent, and I just knew that there was something very important with what they were saying here. I mean, the whole whole story of Hamilton being an immigrant is all throughout here and that was something that really hit me. I will say I'm not the biggest like history buff so there's a lot of stuff I learned from this as well. I would really say that is one of the biggest things. This is very educational. As much as I think a lot of us rolled our eyes at Disney picked this up of like oh god Disney owns everything. Them having Hamilton though makes a lot of sense. It's the education. It's the entertainment. This is what Disney used to be about telling stories and doing different things, but still having an accessible feeling to everyone. So that's what I really liked about this. I thought this was such a smart move to put it on Disney+, Plus, to put it on there right now, and this type of brand, I think this is so needed. Now, how do I feel about the actual Broadway number itself? I really enjoyed what they presented here. It's filmed amazingly. The cinematography is so good. It's so crazy that they got this in 2016 and they were filming it then. And, you know, camera work hasn't changed much, but the way they captured it feels so cinematic. It felt like they knew this was going to be played on the big screen or, well, now at home. They just, it was such a smart thing to do then and go, how do we build this up? for the future and it looks so good. It sounds so good. It's just an overall very like good experience that I will say I wish I could have seen it on the big screen. This is such a, uh, it has a big production to it that I would have loved to see this on the bigger screen. Though, one of my little sidebars here that I wrote in my notes, I don't think this would make a good film adaptation. As much as I want to see the Broadway musical on the big screen, I don't see how they, they would adapt this to a like a, a, like a cinematic a movie sense. There's a lot of things that work in here that seems to work just on Broadway. That fourth wall breaking, a lot of those like kind of like sly moments, the way some characters play different characters later on, there's a lot that I don't think would work in translation well, I go back to the producers, which is a Broadway musical that I think is really great. There's things that they try to do in a movie that just don't work well, and I kind of fear that with Hamilton. But overall, I think this is such a good experience that has so much, actually way too much to offer. Now, since I'm not the biggest fan of the Lin-Manuel Miranda style, I like like one or two songs from In the Heights. I didn't really love all the stuff he did for Moana, but here, there's some really good songs. I think I, one of them I have in my notes is Right Hand Man, uh, also Satisfied, are both songs I love. Like, I would put those on my Apple Music after because they I just had such a good time. I like the Jonathan Groth song. I think it's, um... Uh, you'll be back. Oh my goodness. He won a Tony for that a couple years ago. I can see why. Jonathan Garoff 
eats that up. Now, how does Lin-Manuel Miranda do as the titular Hamilton? He is a good performer at the center of this. He really carries everything through when the characters change in Act 2, when everything changes and I will say Act 1, Act 2, Act 2, we'll talk about that in a little bit. I, I like Act 1 a little bit more, but he was the glue that held it all together and does such a great job. I like him in this way more than I've liked him in anything, from Mary Poppins to interviews to introducing Moana at like the Oscars oh my god everything he's done like before I'm like oh now I have a whole new respect for him he's such a good performer there's a humor to him there's a camp to him there's just an overall heart and soul to how he performs do I think he's the best singer in the world no I mean like guys like Anthony Ramos and David Diggs eat him up here but he is such a good entertainer there's a, a quality to Lin-Manuel Miranda here that I really really enjoy I mean this whole cast is pretty strong I mentioned David Diggs Jonathan Garoff. There's just a lot to enjoy here from the actors. They're just really giving it their all. And I, you could just tell they loved working on this. There's that that magic, that joy. There's those little moments that in between songs or while other other people are performing, they're just kind of in amazement. Like there's times where like David Diggs would be rapping and you just see all the other ones go, He's so good, and that's how I was feeling as well. I just really liked their performance, the grandiose vibes, the songs, the numbers, the choreography. The choreography is this weird mix of like hip hop choreography, but also this very theatrical, like lines and the way that it's choreographed. It's just very interesting. This was such a good visual assault on the eyes. Maybe I haven't seen a, a big budgeted musical since Cats last year, so I'm kind of like, give me anything with songs that's not crazy cat people, but I will say I really enjoyed what this had to do, what this has to say in the songs, the performances, the acting. This made me like Lynn manuel Miranda more. That probably gives this movie like a 10 out of 10 just for that alone. Now, it's not all positive. There's some things I didn't love about it. Nothing too big. Like, I kind of wish there was a lower thirds at the bottom. The, the pacing of this is so breakneck. Like, they just go into another song that I'm like, oh, is this a new song? Like, yeah, the beat changed slightly, but what is this? I would have loved if they put lower thirds at the bottom to let me know what song is which song. So I could be like, ooh, I want that one. Ooh, ooh, not, not that one so much. Where like One Last Time was a song that I didn't really enjoy, but for the most part, I liked a lot of the other songs. Now, Act 2 doesn't have as many songs that I loved. The battles were really cool. The Act 2, like, rap battles were really interesting, and I thought those were really, like, held that together. But overall, I really didn't love the second half. I think it had a little bit more story with, like, Burr's character and things like that. But that first half is just so impactful, so much happening that by, the, you know, with intermission, I can imagine if I would have seen this on Broadway, coming back from intermission to see the second half, I would have been like, well, that was fine. But man, let, let, like, let me leave on that first half. And I think this is a masterpiece. Now with the second half, I go and say this is still really great, but not as strong. And those are really my only complaints. When the pacing is too fast, when I don't know what songs there are, and when act two is just slightly like a little bit less good than the first one, that's not bad, especially for something that I went into with no idea what was happening. I walked away with songs that I loved, with performances that I loved, so all those little negatives kind of get overshined by the positives. Now, please excuse me why I go listen to Right Hand Man on loop like I'm in 2015 again. I can't believe I'm so late to the Hamilton train, but this is going to be something crazy with Disney Plus picking this up, is so many people are going to be finding this later on, like myself, like so many families. So I love that this is going to get like a second wind and everyone's going to love this all over again. Like I said, I'm going to go after this review, listen to Right Hand Man, because I had such a good time with that song, I had such a good time with Hamilton. So what do you guys think of this review? What do you guys think of Hamilton? Are are you excited for this to drop on July 3rd? This is how you celebrate the 4th of July weekend. This is the story of America told by people who built America. I love this so, so much. All right, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel because I make videos like this every single week. And give me a thumbs up because YouTube takes those way too seriously. All right, guys, let's talk about Hamilton down below.